So today we're hiking Mount Tamani, which is in the Delaware Water Gap area. It's a 3.5 mile loop that touches on part of the Appalachian Trail, and it has a 1,200 foot elevation gain. But it's not a long hike, so more like a nice uh, half day type thing. And one of the nice parts about it is the rock scramble that's apparently part way up. So looking forward to that as always. All right, now we're on a part of the trail that's fairly rocky and moderately steep. Enough to get you breathing a bit. So here we have our first scenic viewpoint and we see the uh, beautifully designed tapestry of autumn leaves on this uh, beautiful October day. And we also get to enjoy the view of the gorge, obviously. And we're looking forward to some more nice views up ahead. And there's someone enjoying the gorge, just from a bit different of a viewpoint. So today we started out from the parking lot on the red trail, which we're still now on. And when we get to the top, more or less, we'll be on the blue trail for a bit. And then we'll uh, take the AT trail, which as always is white, back down to the parking lot. All right, this is a very rocky path, like a lot of hiking trails. So hiking boots are definitely recommended if you don't like sore feet. Starting another significant climb here. This is probably the rock scramble that uh, was earlier identified in the trail guide. So in rocky areas like this, always remember to move slowly and cautiously as needed uh, to avoid any problems and also to make sure that you don't lose the trail like here. Trail keeps going up the same rocky path that we were on but off to the right you could miss that the trail leads off in that direction if you just kept going up the rocky hill so always pay attention it can be uh, easy to be distracted especially when uh, a beautiful autumn day like today And just a little further up the trail is a third scenic outlook, this one better than the last. And right here is where the start of the blue trail begins. So let's keep going. So some have asked, how come I don't talk more about the flora or fauna or show these things in more detail? The truth of the matter is, is that I'm really not an expert. So I'm not trying to insult you guys by pretending that I am. Certainly there are a lot of people who are and they focus on that type of thing. So what I'm trying to do is just share a bit of my experience through these videos, what I'm experiencing on the trail so that you guys hopefully get a taste of it and maybe come see it for yourself if you like it. And now time for one of my uh, favorite parts of going on a hike. And that is enjoying a nice crisp apple. Mmm, honey crisp, delicious. So we're still on the blue trail and we're starting the ascent down. I think we're gonna run into the white trail pretty soon here. So 
So one of my favorite things about hiking in the fall is when you see those golden or red leaves kind of fluttering down to the ground. It's pretty nice. Hear the uh, sound of running water. So hopefully we're maybe near a nice uh, view of the gorge. We'll see. Right off the trail here is a well-moving stream. Maybe even something to take a little dip in if it were summer. Or... Alright, so here we see uh, the intersection of the blue and white trail. So now we'll be on the AP trail on the way out. Okay, so I just saw a sign a little while back. Shouldn't jump in the water, unfortunately. So I guess in summer, that's out. And over here, we see another sign that tells us camping's only for uh, AT Trail through hikers. So it looks like we have one last treat here on our way out, and that's one more wooden bridge over the little uh, stream here. And that's about it. So hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you'll have a chance to come and see the trail for yourself.